Hello everyone, and in this video I will be showing you 5 ways to level up fast in Castle Crashers Remastered by using glitches. Now something you should know is that you get 1 XP for every hit you deal to an enemy, but you will not get any XP for hitting a dead enemy. So therefore, most XP glitches either utilize low damage, rapid damage, or both. Number 1. So now that we have that out of our way, we move on to our first XP glitch, which takes place in Snow World. Now this one is fairly simple as all you have to do is make it to the third wave of enemies and then juggle ice camos behind the ice tower at the bottom of the screen. This will cause them to bounce off of the ice tower and into the screen boundary, causing them to bounce back into the ice tower taking 4 damage rapidly giving you rapid XP. Now if you are in a multiplayer game you can do this on every single ice tower. All you have to do is have a teammate go far enough away from the tower so that the screen boundary is right behind the ice tower while you juggle the ice camos. To make this glitch more effective, use the glow stick, which gives you minus 4 strength, so you can hit the enemies more times, giving you more XP. And also use giraffe, which gives you 10% more XP. And do this on insane mode, because the enemies will have 10 times more health. Number 2. This next XP glitch takes us to the Wizard Castle interior, and is exclusive to knights with elemental splash attacks but works best with Orange Knight and Green Knight. All you have to do for this glitch is be the three waves of cult minions and then make it to the room with all the boss fight doors, and then run back to the left and go all the way back to the beginning of the Wizard Castle interior level. All you have to do now is eat a sandwich and then grab the cult minions. After you have grabbed them, hold them over these wood boards sticking out of the ground until you either get hit or your sandwich timer runs out. This will make you drop them out of bounds, causing them to get stuck in a small area. Now continue the process until all of the cult minions are stuck out of bounds, and then use your elemental knight to cast splash magic at them. Since they have an extremely high elemental resistance, you will deal only one damage to them, meaning you can hit them up to 190 times each. To make this glitch better, use the unicorn horn which gives you plus 6 magic, use the beholder which gives you plus 4 magic, or giraffe for the XP boost and do this on insane mode. Number 3. This one is quite possibly the most popular XP glitch in existence, the AFK Hawkster XP glitch. So to do this you need to make it to the wave of enemies at the river, then beat up all the thieves until there is only one left, then go back to the left and angle the thief up at the base of the cliff, then use an aerial light attack to knock the thief to the ground. Then use a stomp attack by hitting a heavy attack while you're on top of him to stomp him up the cliff. Hawkster will then complete the glitch by pecking him for 1 damage until his health reaches 0, then he will grab fruit and revive the thief and then infinitely repeat the cycle. To make this glitch better, you can bring 3 other players along with you that all have Hawkster equipped. Then proceed to do the glitch as normal, but when it's Hawkster's time to shine, all 4 of them will attack the thief giving you 4 times more XP. This glitch can also be done using one Hawkster and one or more Bipolar Bears, although this is not recommended as it is much more effective just to use multiple Hawksters. Number 4. This XP glitch gets the Meister pick, as it is my personal favorite XP glitch because it can get you XP pretty fast. This is the Antlion XP glitch. All you have to do is throw your boomerang to the left at the cactus at the beginning of the level and then run into the antlion so he grabs you. Now this can be a little tricky so it might take multiple attempts, but if you get it right the boomerang should be stuck on the antlion dealing 1 damage every frame, thus giving you 1 XP every single frame. To make this glitch better you can actually run behind the antlion and stand right next to him on his right and he won't be able to hit you with any of his attacks, therefore you won't take damage from him chewing on your head. You can also use giraffe and definitely do this on insane mode. Fun fact, this actually does work on the second and third ant lions, you just have to throw the boomerang at this branch sticking out of the ground. Number 5. This XP glitch can be done on any beefy in the game, although it cannot be done with Red Knight, Bear, Alien, or King, and works best with Fencer or Industrialist. To do this glitch, you'll need to know how to muscle atrophy load beefies, and to do this, you need to hit a beefy on the same frame he lands on the ground with a boomerang. This is more easily done with lightweight beefies, although it can be done with heavyweight beefies. I like to do this by using a heavy heavy light heavy combo and then throwing my boomerang. 
You'll know if you muscle atrophy loaded the beefy if he skips his animation of lying on the ground. Now there are many things you can do with a muscle atrophy loaded beefy, but what we'll do for this glitch is we'll eat a sandwich and then get into a wrestle with the beefy, but you must let him win. This will cause him to throw you and then be floating just above the ground. Once he's in this state, all you have to do is cast splash magic at him, which will deal only one damage since he's in the air. So when a beefy is in this state, he will not fall over dead even if his health reaches zero. So when you're done using the XP glitch to get him out of this state, just throw your boomerang at him and he'll fall over dead. To make this glitch better, if you have chosen to do this in the sandcastle interior, you can free the scratch paw and overlap him with your animal orb, causing you to constantly switch between them, refilling your mana bar every time. Therefore, you will be able to infinitely cast splash magic at the beefy. You can also use Giraffe for an XP bonus, the Unicorn Horn for a magic bonus, and definitely do this on Insane Mode. And there you have it, 5 different ways to do XP glitches in Castle Crashers Remastered. Thank you so much for watching, and figuratively speaking, see you next time.